Kurt Caselli could have had it easy. He could have focused on one racing series and piled up the titles and counted the money. But Kurt chased new challenges the way other riders chased checkered flags. And while that meant there were growing pains when he learned each new discipline, well, no one ever talked trash on Kurt if he lost. Because Kurt Caselli was too damn cool. I've met, met a lot of riders, but Kurt, he was the, he was the best there was in off-road, you know what I mean? Kurt's abilities on a motorcycle was someone I looked up to and, and it was in awe because he made it look so easy and falling across the desert and I'm thinking I'm on the edge, I can't go, no one can go faster than this and there he is going next to me and passing me and I'm just like in awe of what he could do and how smooth he was. What sealed the deal is that he never took himself too seriously. He never carried an air of superiority, even though he's a three-time works champion and a three-time AMA Heron Hound national champion. Perhaps that attitude is why he could adapt so well to different environments. Kurt wasn't so stuck on himself and his own ways that he couldn't learn from others. The biggest breakthrough of all? 10 years ago, Kurt Caselli did something almost unheard of for an American. He actually went fast at the international six-day enduro. For years, for decades, Team USA had been a disappointment at the event until Kurt's speed shocked the world. Because he was a leader, he and his dad riled up the best American off-road riders with a long gone sense of pride in the ISDE effort. There's no way this year's American ISDE trophy team finishes second without Kurt Caselli. The very idea that American riders could go to that event fired up, confident, and prepared started with Kurt's big ride a decade ago. His attitude beyond that was contagious. Kurt had more challenges ahead. He dabbled in world enduro races in Europe, had a new contract to race international rally events, including a win at this year's Rally Argentina. And then there was Baja. This time, Caselli and his KTM team were leading it before he passed away tragically in a crash. Winning the race while taking on a new challenge. That's what Kurt Caselli was all about. They lost a lovely guy, you know. Um, yeah, I knew Kurt for a long time, stayed at his house, used to train with him a lot. We go through it a lot in the Isle of Man with, with the TD, you know, I've lost a lot of close friends and, um, but when it's, you know, when it's off-road and, and the sport that we all, we all do and love, it's, uh, it's harder to accept and harder to swallow, I think. Last week talking to him, you know, he was, he was just, he just pump you up, you know what I mean? He, he'd do anything he can to help you. And, you know, I'm sure he's up there watching over us now. He could learn, he could adapt, and he could lead and he'll be missed.